Now Americans are carrying nearly 90 $900 billion in credit card debt, and more money is about to be tacked on to that monthly bill. Today, the Federal Reserve announced another hike on interest rates for the third time in three months. Team 12's Jonathan McCall is in the Alert Center and joins us now with the impact that it could have on your wallet. Jonathan? Yeah, Mark Caribe, the third interest rate hike is a record, three quarters of a point, the latest one. And you know what, the four biggest things to worry about, credit cards, mortgages, auto loans, and if you have one of those adjustable rate mortgages, you'll definitely be paying more. But here's a real world impact. If you have $5,000 on a credit card, at the beginning of these rate hikes, you were paying about 16% in an APR. Right now it's about 18%, but it's expected to grow to 19%. If you've only made monthly payments, just the minimum payments on that every single month, you're expected to pay nearly $1,200 extra every more, every month I should say, in interest. Trying to cool down a scorching hot economy during a 40-year high inflation. For the third time in three months and the fifth time in 2022, Wednesday, the Federal Reserve announced it is hiking interest rates yet again. Today, the FOMC raised its policy interest rate by three quarters of a percentage point. Meaning it will cost Americans more money to borrow money. It's a hard time right now. Matt Vian is with Northside Wealth Management and says folks with credit card debt should find a way to lose it or expect to pay hundreds, even thousands more in interest. Rather than saving, it still they still need to try to focus on credit card debt trying to knock out any kind of debt because that's going to get more expensive. Every paycheck you get is going to go more into paying off that credit card. And he says making minimum payments just won't do it. He says it's also a good time for folks to take a closer look at their finances, especially subscriptions. The last couple of years is really unprecedented for the housing market, real estate market. Um, we've never seen anything like that before. The latest hike is also likely to drive down the housing market. Housing prices have been dropping in 50% of the listings that are out there. Realtor Kevin Merriweather says right now homes in Phoenix are sitting on the market for weeks and even months, something we didn't see just a year ago. He says many homeowners are reluctant to give up 2% mortgages for 6%, but he says banks are still lending. So the big question, are we headed to a recession? While there's no crystal ball to answer, the experts say if we do, it won't be anything that we haven't already seen before. Our country's been resilient and we've been through multiple ups and downs, times and times before. And every single time, it's gut-wrenching and it's horrible. But every single time, we've pulled through. And we've pulled through and we became strong. So there is a silver lining in all of this money and in high interest savings accounts. We're talking about CDs and bonds. Well, those will continue to grow. You should actually move your money there. But the bad news, we're told that there are still at least two more interest rate hikes scheduled this year. That could grow to as much as 4% by March of next year. Jonathan McCall, 12 News.